Welcome to another Singularity of the Day. In our previous episode, we took a look at how to change our mesh types from maybe a beam to a solid, solid to a beam, shell to beam, etc. Let's take a look at how we can create a shell mesh from either solid components, uh, something that's currently defined as a beam. So we'll take a look at those same three examples that we have, and remember that if we have a sheet metal part, a sheet metal body, it's automatically treated as a shell mesh. So it automatically brings in the thickness associated to that sheet metal part. And that thickness is something that we're going to have to define if we manually define a shell. So let's take a look at the beam first. Now again, in the right click menu, this is where we're going to be able to control our mesh type. But as you can see, there's no option for shell. Well, that's because we need to treat it as a solid first. Let's go ahead and hide our mesh so we can see those spaces that we want. Now that it's solid, I'll right-click on it again. And now I can define shell by selected faces. So I can just right-click here, select tangency, select those inside faces, and tell you what, let's go ahead and define the other component as well. So we've selected two groups of faces here. Again, right-click, select tangency is an excellent option there. And we're going to define our shell type the thickness of it, and if we need to find, define any offset. So if this is going to be the top, bottom, in this case, since we're specifying one of the outside faces, we would choose either the top surface or bottom surface. And that comes into the mesh orientation um, when we see those orange and gray faces. So automatically, I'm able to do this in one command. It automatically recognizes which body is which, so you can see we have two shell bodies. Well, actually a total of three now. So let's go ahead and create our mesh. And we'll see our three shell bodies. So that's how you can define shells in SOLIDWORKS simulation. Happy meshing.